So the digital devices that <laughs> I have in my hand that we use every day, that everyone uses every day, we are learning about the effect that living in the digital age having on both our eye health and our overall health. Because we have not had the smartphone for a decade yet. The first smartphone came into our lives June 2007. That was just nine years ago. So what we are learning, um, how we talk to our patients about the effect of digital device, what we've learned is to divide it into three different areas. So we uh, refer to it overall as digital eye health. So the first effect, uh, the new term is digital eye strain. That term came about the Vision Council uh, in January of this year released an official report calling it the digital eye strain with a list of symptoms. And we talked to the patients about the sleep issues, uh, especially as more and more patients, both young and old, are staring into either a tablet or a phone versus watching TV or they may have all three devices on for hours before they go to bed. So insomnia or just overall in, in general sleep issues on a sharp rise in all uh, generations and all ages in the patients. And of course the third effect, that's where a lot of the debate is, is the long-term potential effect on the retina but no one knows what the answers are. So our approach is we know, we believe that there will be damage. We, what we do not know in 2016 is we don't know the extent, we don't know the depth of the damage, and we do not know the time that it will take before we can see these damages. So only time will tell. But digital eye strain is real, it's affecting millions of Americans, young and old. It just depends on how much time they spend on the digital devices, uh, how much of it is in their lives. And the sleep issues are, are real. So there, if there are things that we as optometrists can do to help prevent that or alleviate it, then I believe that it is our duty to first educate the general public and second, provide solutions.